In today's video, I'm going to be taking over Leeds United for 10 seasons and trying to win as many trophies as possible. Marcelo Bielsa just got sacked and it's kind of sad. Such an iconic manager had a great relationship with the Leeds fans and got them back to the Premier League after so long. But if you look at Leeds United's recent results, they've been conceding like four goals every game. I'm not surprised Bielsa got sacked. And that's why we're here to take over Leeds United for 10 seasons and make them absolutely incredible, winning almost everything that's the goal we're gonna keep track of all trophies we win we're also gonna be tracking the top scorer and the top assisted of this save my predictions Rafinha is gonna be one of them at the very least let me know what's yours time to begin all right boys we begin with season one and you would see I've already made like a slight change to the formation we're running a 4-1-4-1 but with the cam a sentiment in a CDM I think that's the best way to run this team Calvin Phillips is gonna be here fully for the entire 10 seasons maybe not because he's 25 but let's see I love this team we've got a great goalkeeper in Melier we've got Stuart a solid center back there's a good base around here a few improvements and I think we're gonna be balling Dan James as well on the bench straight up where I see we need an improvement is that central midfield position. Absolutely need a big boy signing there. Okay, not too bad for the first season, guys. I feel like it's going to take us two, three seasons to get, of course, into the Champions League and everything. Also, the rule is still there. Only two transfers per season. Keep that in mind. So, we've got to be smart. About 40 million to spend, which if we adjust our budget, becomes about 45-ish. So, not too bad. Got to keep an English team in this team as well. And you just know Conor Gallagher would fit right into this setup. But he's on loan. No, we can't sign him. That is such an L. What about Jude Bellingham? Would he be in our budget? I'm willing to put all my money to sign him if that's possible. I think he's just going to be way too expensive. We'll keep tabs on him though. I think Jude Bellingham will be out of our budget, man. I just don't think it's possible. That's why maybe Carlos Soler might just fit in. You guys know Pablo Hernandez? He was one of Leeds' icons. Maybe another Spaniard to replace him. I like this. All right, so we're gonna sign Carlos Soler in our first season itself. I want to be smart. Maybe we'll have money left to make another signing in our first season. I don't think so. Yeah, we're not gonna have that money. Carlos Soler is gonna eat into all our budget, but let's just keep a bit of cash for contract renewals. They're not willing to even negotiate with us. Come on. Valencia yeah, don't play like that. 44 million is what we're working with, I guess. There you have it, guys. First signing for Leeds United complete. It's a Spaniard and Carlos Soler. 44 million. Expensive, but I think it's worth it. Let's quickly chuck a development plan on him. Box to box. Yeah, we gotta make him that kind of a player. He's gonna be playing alongside Calvin Phillips and Rodrigo. Ooh, I think he's gonna build some good chemistry there. Oh, by the way, the Youth Academy player we've got is Argentinian. Is that because of Bielsa? I'm not too sure, but he looks very, very decent. Honestly, a solid CDM. Um, 66 rated. I think he'd be much better as like a, a center back, I think. Honestly, because of those passing stats, or maybe not. We'll keep him CDM. I gotta promote him almost now and just loan him out. Pepe Gallardo. Remember his name, guys. Might be big in these kind of challenges, so let's see. We can make only the one signing for this window, guys, and Carlos Soler, but I think it's a top-class signing. That's gonna be our team for the season. I think players like Rafinha and all need to carry us through the season. Let's hope for a mid-table finish to start things off. Well, as expected, we finished mid-table. The one positive I see, we scored a ton of goals, but look at those goals conceded. 64, that's something we need to fix, I guess. We know what we're improving next season. It's gotta be the defense. 13th in the Premier League this season. Mid-table, average finish, but hopefully our squad is improved. Oh, it has. Look at Rafinha and Harrison's overall. Carlos Soler up to an 85. Stewage grew really well. Melia grew. We just need a few improvements, but one thing I see, Bamford not growing. That's something kind of annoying me. Maybe we need an improvement there as well, but okay. An average season, but I guess it was important to have a good foundation. Carlos Soler top scorer. Now, that's something I don't expect. He always delivers and Karimo. That's one thing I've noticed. Bamford still scored 18. Harrison with 7. Rafinha with just 4 goals. You're kidding me. Who was our top sister? Harrison and Rodrigo tied with 8. That's a big surprise. There you go. Soler top scorer in the first season with Harrison top sister. I didn't expect these names to pop up. Let's see how things progress. 
Season 2 begins and I'm not gonna lie, I'm happy with that transfer budget. I spent a lot of it renewing contracts and all, but still, 56 million after finishing 13th in the Prem. We'll take it. Kinda already know where we need improvements. I think a better striker is needed. Bamford, 78 rated, not good enough. Or else the option was to improve our centre-back position. Uh, but the problem with that is Stuart actually has good potential. He's only 22, I'd rather keep him. Ailing is another position we need to replace the right-back spot. So, right-back and striker... One of them, we got to change this season. We'll have to decide which one. Have an idea for the striker position. It's Julian Alvarez, the new Manchester City striker. The next Sergio Aguero, as they call him. We're going to scout him for now and see if this is possible. He's going to be ridiculously expensive, though I've got a feeling. We'll have to generate some funds for that. Offer for Patrick Bamford. I still think he's a good option to have as backup. So I don't know if we should sell him. I just don't know, man. To Athletic Bilbao. But I want to sign Julian Alvarez, so... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. For now, uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna reject it. I think I still want him to be a part of the squad. Generated a bit more cash through loaning out players and everything. We're up to about 60 million 55 as such. Is that gonna be enough for Julian Alvarez? Let's see. So he's 81 rated. 36 million is his value. Better to sign him now than later because we know his value is only gonna keep going up. So if we can sign him in our second season, I feel like that's our striker done for the rest of this challenge. So 30. 36 million is going to be my first offer. 47.3. You know what? I'm not going to negotiate further. I'm happy with that. Absolutely. Pep Guardiola is giving away the next Sergio Aguero for that price. We'll absolutely take it. Let's get that contract sorted as well. Now that's a signing. Julian Alvarez at Leeds United. Look at some of his stats. He's so much like Sergio Aguero. He's valued at 50 million and we got him for that price. I think we got to try and improve his pace. Sprint speed, I guess. I think the poacher plan suits him really well for this first season. But I'm so excited to have him in the team. Let's actually put him in the first team. Sort out our bench and everything. This is what we do. Bamford on the bench is really nice. And Julian Alvarez up top. I like this man. I absolutely do. We've got a good team now. Good first 11. Can't improve the right back position this season because we don't have any more cash. But that's going to be our team for season two. Let's hopefully finish in the top half of the table. I think it's going to take us a while to start winning trophies. But the process of taking this team to the next level has begun. Ah, I feel like we're not going anywhere with this team. Progress is there, but ever so slightly. It's been difficult, man, this takeover of Leeds. 11th in our second season uh, maybe I think we need to improve the right back in the defensive positions now because I think our attack is great it's there we're lacking so yeah 11th in the prem very disappointing I'm not gonna lie even the cup competitions we were nowhere to be seen only positive player growth was there Rafinha up to an 86 Alvarez up to an 85 that's helpful I think fullback positions are letting us down a bit Julian Alvarez finishing as our top scorer in his first season itself that's a dub Rodrigo doing pretty well, I'm not going to lie. Bamford's nowhere to be seen. Has he left the club? No, he's there. Just that one goal. Uh, Soler again with a solid season. He's been brilliant. And yeah, Alvarez, good signing, I guess. Soler is now our top scorer and top assister. He's always OP in career mode, trust me. Anyways, time for season three. And we need to make serious improvements. I can't believe this. I really can't believe this. No wonder Rafinha has not been performing for us. He's requested a transfer. We're going to have to sell Rafinha in season three. This has been by far the most difficult takeover challenge we've done. Unreal. We're getting a little bit more money this season. 72 million. We got to make use of it. Two seasons and all we've done is nothing. Even with a very decent team, you could say. It's about time we step up. I may have just found a steal deal. You might be thinking, how on earth are you going to afford one, Bisaka? Well, contract expiring, 25 years old. This is the kind of signing we need. Taking one player over Manchester United, getting one over them. If we can pull this off for a good price. Boy, are we getting a solid deal here. I'm going to try 44 million and seeing what they say. You know what? I'm accepting it. I'm taking the deal. This might be one of the smartest transfers we could make. One Bisaka is going to add so much to this team. There you have it, guys. One Bisaka signed. Absolutely amazing. 85 rated. Now, that's the kind of signing we need. I'm sure he's going to improve the team massively, especially after we chuck in a development plan on him. I think I want to put an attacking wide back one just to improve his passing and everything. Pain, guys. Absolute pain. We're going to have to sell Rafinha. Atletico Madrid have come in with an offer. I don't want Rodrigo the Paul. I don't need him. I really don't need him. So I'm going to 
to just delegate and see the maximum amount of money we can get for him. And remember, the problem is we've already made one signing in this window. We can only sign one more player and that's going to be Rafinha's replacement. It's, it's so limiting when a situation like this happens, but it is what it is. Looks like 98.1 million is what we can get for Rafinha. I'm taking that. With that money, I reckon we can certainly sign a top class right winger. It's happened, guys. It has happened. <sighs> He's been sold. Rafinha has been sold. We have an enormous chunk of money to spend. We need to be smart about the replacement we get. And I'm sure we will. What about another Brazilian Rodrigo? I think is in our budget. I think we can afford him. Another Brazilian to replace Rafinha. I think that's the way. Rodrigo, let's do this. Let's freaking do this. Not paying his release clause, of course. Okay, let's see the negotiations, how they pan out. 50 million is going to be my starting budget. That's, that's brilliant. That's brilliant absolutely brilliant 58.8 million we should have this deal done in no time and we've got the replacement for Rafinha it's Rodrigo big expectations from him and that's it we can't make any more signings in this window we've reached the cap of signings but I think we've done a good job improving this team and I've just realized we don't have a backup keeper oh my god we're gonna have to get through this season without a backup keeper I messed I'm messing up so much in this takeover man yes you're right the FIFA gods, I'm praying you guys keep Melier fully fit for this season. Otherwise, we are truly doomed. Regardless, this is going to be the squad for our season. I think the first team is very good. We need to finish in the top half of the table, man. Like, come on. Okay, first positive, we're at the end of the season and we're not in the bottom half of the table. That's good. That means we've at least had a decent season. Oh, I'm looking at the right and I see Liverpool have beaten us 3-0. That's not good. But let's see where we finish. Oh my god, we're in the top six above Man United. We're in the top five. We finished in the top four. We're going to be in the Champions League next season. It's third in the Premier League. Let's go. Finally, after the first two seasons of being terrible, we finished third. That's more like it. Probably down to the signings of Rodrigo and all. We've now got Rodrigo with a Y and Rodrigo with an I as well. Not a nonsense there, wasn't it? But one bissaka has been a top class signing. And I'm so glad we kept Melier fit. There you go. He pretty much played every single game for us. What a legend. Oh, we could have just recalled Clayson. I don't know why. I don't know why he didn't do that. Next season, well, he'll be back. Top scorer, Carlos Soler is back at it again. 22 tied with Julian Alvarez. What a signing Rodrigo has been. Stepped up big time. Assist-wise, it's the Rodrigo with an eye. Soler with, again, a good assist campaign with seven. Calvin Phillips with six. Let's go. I think we're yet to win a trophy still. No FA Cup that goes to Leicester. No Carabao Cup that goes to Spurs. But I think from now on, we can maybe start hoping and dreaming for trophies. Because, well, Champions League next season. And Soler still keeps his top scorer and top assister record intact. Now we're talking, boys. 216 million to work with in season four. We're in the Champions League as well, but I think the money is not the issue. It's the fact that we need more than two players, which we can't sign. Tyler Roberts, who's very unhappy with the team and everything, and we've got a very thin squad, so I think fixing squad depth is going to be one of the key tasks we've got on our hand this season. There's a lot to do, I guess. It's all about improving that midfield this season. I want to go big for this camp position, boys, because it's such a big part of the team. Mason Mount is the man I'm going for. We've got basically unlimited amount of money now because we can only make two signings. We've got to make them count, and I'm making one of them count by signing Mason Mount. It's time to make the big boy signings with Leeds United because now we're in the Champions League. 100 million is going to be my first offer. 120 million works for me. It leaves us with a good amount of cash to work with of course other signings indeed let's go he's also out of place at chelsea these days so makes sense okay i've just seen three players just depart the club diogo loriente is gone too cooper's gone yo we've got such a thin squad and that's big problems right here like honestly this is bad this is really bad mason mount has been signed but the club is in a bit of a chaotic situation i've never had a takeover challenge with this many problems boys like honestly let's put mount in the team and one signing that we can make where do we make that signing i guess uh squad depth wise a center back would be useful a center mid would be useful as well uh, let, let's see let's see what we can do can we afford ronald araujo i think he just fits leads his philosophy i really think so i think we might just be able to afford him but chelsea are after him we need to be fast i think we just might be able to overtake chelsea in these negotiations i think getting a quality center back for squad depth as well i mean he'll be the starter 
up. Robin Koch can be a great option as a backup center back. I think it's smart. We'll have to shell out a lot of cash for this, but I'm willing to do so. Looks like 86 million is what we're paying for Araujo. Let's go. We need to do the negotiations manually. Otherwise, last time I tried doing something like this, he ended up joining the other club that was in for him. So we don't want that to happen here. Let's get the contract done with Araujo. We've certainly got the funds to make that happen. No release clause. No appearance bonus as well. We'll, we'll give him a little more in terms of wages so he doesn't crib. I'll remove the signing bonus and just give him the same wages as he earned at Barca. And he accepts that. There you go. We've signed another quality player. So basically, that's how the team's going to look like for season four, this is. We're going to be in the Champions League this season. Squad depth's atrocious. By the way, from the academy, Gallardo is in the team. He's going to be on the bench. 76 rated. That's cool to see. Let's see what we can achieve in the Champions League and the Prem. At this point, four seasons in, we've not won a trophy. I think just winning trophies in this challenge is going to be a tough one. Let's see. Let's see how this season goes. Guys, 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 did we just win the Premier League? Yo, our first trophy of this challenge. We've won the Premier League with Leeds United. It's taken us four seasons, but we've done it. How did this happen? I thought we had a thin squad. Did we, like, sacrifice the Champions League for this? Let's go. First trophy on board. We didn't win the FA Cup. No the Carabao Cup, but we won the big one, the Premier League. How do we play in the Champions League? We topped our group. Wow, this squad's good. Round of 16. Ah, <laughs> come on. Not against Roma. That's such an L, but still, I'll take it. First first appearance in the Champions League. We did okay, and in the Prem, we won it. That's mad. I think I can understand why the ratings on Rodrigo, Soler, Mount, Alvarez, Araujo, Juan Bissaka. Unbelievable. That surely helped. Look at the stats. Rodrigo and Alvarez tied for top scorer. Soler is finally dipping in terms of his stats, but Mount 17 goals and 14 assists. Stats wise, Soler better be careful because Alvarez is right on his tail, but assist wise he's pretty clear. And we've added our first trophy in the cabinet. The Premier League is in the bag. Four seasons in only that one trophy, but here's where we can start building that dynasty. We're entering this season as Premier League champions. Certainly does feel good and 188 million to spend. Yes, it's all about improving that squad depth this season. I, I feel like... Um, I think we could do really well with a new left back because I think Firpo is very unhappy. Actually, there may be a few players leaving the club. Let's see. Ah, oh, there's a couple of them. Robin Koch and Firpo both are going to be leaving the club. So I guess that's where we need our improvements. Left back and centre back. Don't think I've ever signed Nuno Mendes in one of these videos. I think it'd be a great signing to make. Plus, he seems like um, a player at a reasonable valuation. Him and Juan Bissaka on either side. The pace. Oh my lord, the pace. Plus, he's only 23. We're going to have to shell out a lot of money for this. But we're champions of England now. We've got that kind of money. So I think we can convince Allegri to let Nuno Mendes leave for about 90 million. I'm hoping. Let's go. 98. Okay, we'll accept that. Bamford is also another player who wants to leave the club. We've got Gelhart as backup. So I'm just going to accept it. We'll let Bamford leave. And that's our first signing complete in this window. Nuno Mendes joins Leeds United. Let's put him in that team and see how it looks. We've got Gallardo playing. He, he can't play left back, guys. Come on now. Where's he gone? Nuno Mendes. Look at how bad our squad depth is, boys. Ah, oh, we've got this keeper in there. Riveros. That's fine. But our squad depth is absolutely woeful again. Oh, we've got problems here, boys. We've got problems here. I think we need to sign another center mid now. Because that's where we're lacking in terms of depth. Actually, we're even lacking depth in that center back position. We're in trouble, man, with all these squad depth issues. I think I'm going to sign Ben Godfrey. He's available for like 35 million. We'll add a lot to our team. We need that depth. Plus, he can play anywhere at the back. We need those kind of players. And there you go. We've just signed Ben Godfrey. That's adding a lot of depth to our back. And I think he's even going to end up being a starter for us. Because if we do this, then this, and then put... Godfrey in here. We're looking good. We can, of course, put Stuich over there. The bench is good, but there's just no squad depth here. Uh, that's going to end up costing us. Next season, we got to just keep building. It's like players are leaving us constantly, which I don't know why. But oh well, this is going to be our team for season five now. We won the Premier League last season. Let's see how we fared this season. Back-to-back -back Premier League titles, even with that low squad depth. I think we've just found the perfect first 11 to get the job done, and that's what's happening. Two Premier League titles now. Let's go. It's taken us four or five seasons, but we're now the best team in England. Oh, we also won the Community Shield. What about the FA Cup? Ah, that goes to City. The mighty Carabao Cup. We win that. And against Man United. Things you do love to see.
Champions League, we topped our group. This is only our second season in the competition, by the way. We knocked out Leipzig. We knocked out Dortmund. We knocked out Real Madrid and we're in the final against PSG. All right, boys, let's do this. They've got no Messi, but they've got Kessi, <laughs> Tonali, Mbappe, Neymar and everything. But look at our team. It's unreal. Our first team is honestly a bit insane. Let's sim this game. 3-2, we've won our first Champions League and it's a Gelhart brace to win us. The Champions League, probably the most unexpected player to score. And there you go. Messi comes on and scores for them a couple of times. But we've won our first Champions League in five seasons. Look at that. Julian Alvarez with a season to remember. 44 goals. Unreal. Rodrigo with a big season too. Soler is going to keep that top assister chart for himself. But unreal stats. Gelhardt, what a super sub, man. Out of those nine goals, two were in a Champions League final. Absolute legend. Stats-wise, we're looking at... Um, Stats-wise, new top scorer in Alvarez. 111 goals for him. Soler still keeps all of that top assister award. And trophies-wise, two Premier Leagues, one Champions League, one Carabao Cup, and one Community Shield. Adding in five seasons, we've done a good job, but five more to go. Let's keep adding more trophies. We're heading into season six as Champions League winners. And thankfully this season, not many players are leaving the club. So that's very, very nice. We can focus on just improving squad depth. And that's exactly what we're going to do. 286 million is a bit overkill for squad depth though. Player I wanted to sign in the first season, but I couldn't. Now I think I'm going to try and sign him. Connor Gallagher, I think he's perfect to be on the bench for this side. Potentially even a start a few seasons down the line. Let's make this happen. About 40 million I reckon we're going to have to pay for this. Nah, a lot more, but we'll accept. It's going to be one of the two signings we make this season. There you go, Conor Gallagher signed by Leeds United. And now we've got a bit of a problem. I have just realized Dan James wants to leave the club, submitted a transfer request, and we've got an offer for him. I guess we're going to accept it from Arsenal. I'll try and get as much money as possible, but he could be on his way out. And if this goes through, well, we need a new left winger, that's for sure. So 31.5 is all we're getting for Dan James. Let's hope this deal goes through soon and let's get a left winger. I'm thinking, why not make the most unbelievable signing possible in Phil Foden? We might just have the money to do this. Oh my god, would this be insane. 92 rated Phil Foden. We're the best team in England now. Makes sense to make signings like this. So why the hell not? This is gonna cost us almost everything we've got. But is it worth it? Only time will tell. But first, we need to convince Pep Guardiola that he needs to give us Phil Foden. And 211 million makes it happen. Oh. Oh my god, we're selling Dan James to sign Phil Foden to play on the left side of our team. Unreal. And that's that. Dan James has gone. He's moving to Arsenal. And guess who we've signed to replace him? Phil Foden. Yo, we're winning the Premier League again. No two ways about it. Let's put Phil Foden in that starting 11. Um, We can, of course, put uh Gallagher, Harrison and all on the bench. Absolutely perfect. Actually, even Harrison's unhappy. But for this season, we're going to have to keep him in the squad for depth. Um, there you go. That's going to be our squad for this season. Let's convert Foden to a left winger. There you go. That's sorted. What a team we've got here. Come on now. Let's get into the simulation and see what we do this season. We lost the Community Shield season this season. That's not a good sign. But in the Premier League, that's three in a row. Things you do love to see. What about the mighty FA Cup? We lost that to Wolves. Oh, that's a couple of finals we've lost. And Everton win the Carabao Cup. So only the Premier League so far this season. 80 points. Another solid campaign. In. Champions League, we top our group again. Napoli get knocked out. Wow. And in the round of 16, we knock out Barca 4 0. We knock out Benfica 4 2 in the quarters. And we get through PSG 5 3 on aggregate. That's insane. And in the final, it's going to be Real Madrid versus Leeds. Don't know how we've built such an insane team. Okay, I can see the overalls and now understand why we're here. Phil Foden is well in the team. Let's see. Champions League final. Connor Gallagher, our new signing from the summer. Man just to score the winning goal against Madrid. There you go. Second Champions League in the bag. Stats wise, Julian Alvarez is an absolute demon. 37 goals this season. Look at Phil Foden providing all the assists now. 16. Soler with another solid season. Mount, pretty good as well. Love to see it, but Alvarez, unreal. Trophies wise, another Champions League. We've added a Premier League as well. Good season all round. And stats wise, Julian Alvarez just dominates with that 148 goal number. Nobody's catching him. Carlos Soler is also quite far ahead of players like, you know, um, Rodrigo and all in the assist chart. So he's pretty comfortable there as well. 
Yo, our team is honestly so freaking good right now. All I can think of is maybe squad depth signings. That's all we need. Maybe a new left winger or a winger in general to give us a bit of depth for the departure of Harrison. And maybe a centre back. That's all I can think of. Callum hudson Adoy could be the man. Gonna try and sign him for like 65 million. Be an unbelievable player to have on the bench, by the way. Uh, we're gonna sign him for 65.3. His contract was expiring, so we're getting a nice, nice deal on him. That's brilliant. Let's see, Callum hudson Adoy has been signed. It's crazy he's going to be on the bench and not anywhere near the starting 11. That's how unreal this team is that we've built. Oh my god, I think we'll do this for, for the squad right now. Unbelievable. Still, we can sign one more player and I'm thinking maybe a centre-back. A centre-back, I think, is the smartest decision here. Let's do that. Let's go English for centre-back and I'm sure Tomori will be a bit OP right now. I know he's 29, but he's 88 rated, boys. You know what? I don't want to even waste my time. I'm just gonna pay that release clause. We've got the money. Let's just get this done. Tomori coming in from Barcelona. And that was rather simple. We've signed Tomori as well. He's gonna be in the starting 11. Let's just set out our squad now. Stewart, unfortunately, will be heading for the bench. We can put Godfrey here. Godfrey, or I think I think Stewart is younger than Godfrey. Has to be. Yeah, so we'll keep him on the bench. Uh, and there you go, boys. There you freaking go. Tomori is in there. What a team we've built, man. Honestly, we might need to start replacing placing players like Calvin Phillips, but we'll see if needs be. But I think we're going to be in another season where we'll try and win everything. So let's sim through this season. This is getting too easy now. We're winning the Premier League for fun now. That's four consecutive Premier League titles unbelievable. Ah, Wolves won the Community Shield. Come on now. What about the FA Cup? We didn't win that. The Carabao Cup? We didn't win that as well. Just the Prem this season. We topped our group in the Champions League. We then proceeded to knock out Young Boys. Okay. Knocked out Barca 7 do. Oh, come on. We got knocked out to Real Madrid. So, just the Premier League this season. I think we just got a bit unlucky because that's why ooh, Alvarez wasn't as dominant as before. 29 goals. Foden with 28. Rodrigo with 27. Look at Mount rack up all those assists. 18. Phil Foden with 17. Soled might just get overtaken at this rate. Just the one Premier League trophy added this season. Alvarez is running away with the golden boot for the video, but I think I think Soler needs to be a bit careful because Mason Mount is after him. Starting off season eight with a big signing indeed. Fabio Carvalho. Kind of want to bring him in because I realize we don't really have a backup for Mason Mount. So better to sign someone like him. I think it's it's a smart decision. For 88 million, we'll take him. We've got endless money at this point. And that's one signing done. Carvalho for squad depth has been signed. I think we need a left back to his Luke Shaw still usable. I wouldn't mind Luke Shaw at Leeds. Why not? 32. You know what? Don't mind that. He's not going to be playing all that much. He's he's really not going to be playing all that much. It's mostly going to just be Nuno Mendes playing, but having that backup left back is what we lack in this squad, so let's just make it happen and just build a complete squad. The Luke Shaw deal has been signed and completed as well, and now we have a very, very complete squad with a fair bit of squad depth as well. Absolutely brilliant. Now I want to win the Champions League this season. Let's go. Guys, guys, guys. That's now five consecutive Premier League titles we've won. Imagine if we win the next two seasons as well. That would be seven consecutive Premier League titles. Just unreal. But did we this season win? Yes, the Community Shield. Funnily enough, it's only our second one. No FA Cup. Okay, let Man United win something. No Carabao Cup as well. What about the Champions League? As usual, we topped our group this time unbeaten. Got through Wolfsburg. Got through Barcelona. Smashed Inter. And we're up against Liverpool in the final. Let's make that three Champions League trophies, boys. Leeds United versus Liverpool. Getting this one out of the way. And it's a 2-1 win. Phil Foden and Mason Mount, the two English boys that we signed, got the job done. That's our third Champions League. Looking at the trophies, five Premier Leagues, as we said, three Champions Leagues, finally adding the Community Shields as well. Two more seasons, let's keep winning more. And stats-wise, Alvarez keeps the crown. I think he's going to end up as our top scorer. He's just too far ahead of everyone else. Carlos Soler is facing a stiff fight with, I think it was Mason Mount, so better be careful. 
Season 9 and the first signing is a goalkeeper because that's the only position where we don't have two players now. So I've signed Aaron Ramsdale to be our backup keeper and look at this squad guys. Look at the state of this squad. It is so freaking good. I don't think we need to change anything. Nobody's going down in their overall in the starting 11. We'll keep things as is. I think Somerville has left the club. No, he's there as well. One player has left the club. I can't figure out who it is. I think it's Shackleton. Jamie Shackleton's gone. But we've got enough squad depth to ride this out. So just the one signing, Aaron Ramsdale. And let's get through this season as well. And that's another Premier League in the bag. We have just dominated the Premier League so easily in this takeover. I know it was a struggle early on, but now look at us. That's another one. Community Shield, oh, come on. We, we let Man United get the better of us. What about the FA Cup? That goes to Liverpool. Carabao Cup, the City. Champions League. This time we finished second in our group, but we got Bayern, so fair enough. And we got knocked out by Barca. So for the first time in this save, an early exit in the Champions League. Ah, oh, Julian Alvarez is an absolute monster. What a season from him. 37 goals. Phil Foden might just have enough assists to overtake. No, not Phil Foden. It's actually Mason Mount. I'm not sure if he's overtaken Soler or not. We'll have to see. Soler is just two assists clear of Mason Mount right now. Last season, there's going to be a fight between the two for the top assist to watch. Should be fun to see. Alvarez is already the golden boot holder for this video. He's easily winning it. Of course, we just added another Premier League trophy to our cabinet. Well, guys, we have some work to do this season because Calvin Phillips is not going to renew with us. Well, well, well. Callagher as well is gone. Two players I expected to keep for a while. That's such a shame. We're not going to have them for the final season, man. Oh, those are a couple of signings we absolutely now need to make. We need a CDM and we need, of course, uh, the replacement for Gallagher. Oh, that's such a bummer. Sandro Tonali would be a nice player to have for, like, the final season, man. I don't mind that at all. Let's bring him here to, of course, Leeds. Completing two transfers actually for the final season. Luke Shaw's contract's gone. We didn't renew him, so he left the club. We're signing Balde for backup. We're signing Tonali for a bit of depth in midfield. I think this final season, we're going to be low on squad depth, but remember, guys, we've often done really well when we've been low on squad depth, so who knows? That might be the case once again, so that's how this team's going to look like for the final season. Can we add one more chance? Champions League. Let's see. And that's seven consecutive Premier League titles. We've made it easy. We've like literally dominated the Premier League for seven seasons. We've done what Juventus basically did in the Serie A. That's nuts. And we add another Community Shield. That's going to be the third one. Surprisingly, we haven't won the FA Cup even once. Carabao Cup, that's our second one. So we're on for a treble this season. Champions League, though, is the real question. Okay, we topped our group this time. That's decent. And we knocked out Zagreb, even though we lost the second leg. We got the better of Barcelona 6-4. We knocked out Fiorentina. We're in a final versus Milan. Let's do this, boys. Our team is honestly insane right now. Look at the overalls on them. Oh my days. We're simming this one. No way we're losing it. There you go. Mount Hudson Adoy, Alvarez score. That is our fourth Champions League secure. This is one of our most successful seasons. This team that we've built, man, is honestly insane. Alvarez, probably my favorite player here. Rodrigo as well, 95. Phil Foden touches 96. Mount insane. Araujo insane. The bench was insane. Love the squad we built. Rodrigo this time got the better of Alvarez for top scorer charts and oh, I think, oh my god, Mount and Soler. I'm not sure who's gonna get top assist though. We'll have to see. And one final look at the number of trophies. We've won seven consecutive Premier League titles. It's a shame we couldn't win the FA Cup. We didn't even play in the Europa League. Couple of Carabao Cups, three Community Shields, and four Champions Leagues. This was super successful with Leeds. And for the first time ever, two players are tied for the top assist record. 93 each between Soler and Mason Mount. That's honestly a bit insane. And Julian Alvarez takes home top scorer. And with that, boys, we're going to wrap up this week's Takeover Challenge. Absolutely enjoyed this one, boys. And hopefully next week we'll be back again with another Takeover. Let me know which club we should do it with. And yeah, I'll catch you guys for the next one. Drop a like, subscribe, and peace.